Hello everyone, this is a second video on arithmetic sequences, right? So for this video, we are going to derive, you know, Tn, you know, we're going to derive this guy, right? And that will be the most important formula that, you know, we can never live without, you know, in sequencing series, right? Uh, before we derive Tn, our goal is Tn, right? Specifically, for arithmetic arithmetic um sequences right okay so i just want us to look at something here let's say we've got the first term right term one you know so term one we normally refer to term one as a right so a is the first term to get the second term um we are gonna from a we're gonna add um a constant value which is d um that is that constant um difference you know the common difference so we're gonna add a d on a to get the second value let me just do an example on the side let's say um um the first term of a sequence was one for example you know and then d was three right for example so i'm just gonna do it here concurrently so this is t1 t1 is equals to one right to get t2 that is gonna be one plus three right so t2 will be four right and then now guys to get t3 it's gonna be a which is the first term plus D, all of this is the second term. This is the second term plus D, right? So, same applies here. T3 is going to be 1 plus 3. This is the second term um, plus 3. Then we have to find our value. So, 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 3 is 7, right? So here, if you can just simplify this, it's going to be A plus 2D, right? Okay, let's look at the fourth term. The fourth term will be the third term plus D, right? So it's A plus D plus D. So this is term number three, right? Then same applies here. T4 will equal to 1 plus 3 plus 3. Right? So, this is T3 plus another 3. You know what I'm saying? Um, sorry. Here, it's going to be A plus D. That is the second term. If I add another D, that's going to be the third term. Plus D. That is going to be the fourth term. Sorry about that. Okay. So, 1 plus 3 is the second term. Plus 3 um, is the third term. Plus another 3. That is the fourth term so 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9 plus uh, 1 that is 10 you know what I'm saying so if you simplify this side we're gonna get a plus 3d right let's just you know find the third I mean the fifth term you know uh, but I'm sure you guys can see what is happening here you know so the fifth term is gonna be the fourth term plus D so it's going to be A plus D, this is the second term, plus D, the third term, plus D, um, the fourth term, right? Plus D, that is the fifth term. And if we simplify it here, it's going to be what? It's going to be A plus 4D, right? Okay, then here now, T5 will equal to 1 plus 3, that's the second term, plus 3. Um, the third term plus three uh, the fourth term plus three then that is gonna be the fifth term right so that will be 13 however now guys if you look here at what is happening here you know this five and this four and this three and this two that is n t n is equals to let's look at the simplified um expressions there so it's always a plus something right so let's look at the coefficient of d here right so can you see 
Okay. Also here, let me get another color for the for the first team. Let me get another color so that you guys can see what in the world is going on here. Okay. Let's look at the first team. Um, the first the first term the coefficient there is a plus zero d. I trust you guys can see that. Um, in, a, in as much as you don't necessarily write it down, but it's a plus zero d, right? So the coefficient of d here is always this value minus one, right? So um, one minus one is zero. 2 minus 1 is 1. There's a 1 there. 3 minus 1 is this 2 that is here. 4 minus 1 is this 3 that is here. 5 minus 1 is this 4 that is here. So the general term now, the nth term, is going to be a, that is always there, a plus n minus 1 d. Right? Um, you can also put d in brackets there. So this is the general term this is the nth term for an arithmetic arithmetic sequence right where a is the first term then d is the common difference or it's sometimes people call it the constant difference you know what i'm saying Whichever you know word will assist you to sleep at night, you can just use it, right? So basically, to just summarize there, to get the next term, you add, you know, the constant value to the previous term, right? So this um, a was the previous term. You, you add a constant value, you know what I'm saying, which is this d, right? And then now, if the difference between the consecutive terms is not common, then that is not an arithmetic sequence, you know. Okay, guys, do stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your day. On the next video, on the next video, we're going to do um, an example where we're going to see how we can apply this amazing formula in different examples. Do stay blessed.